This station is designed to test your ability to perform a patient assessment of a patient with a chief complaint of a medical problem and voice treat all conditions discovered. You must conduct your assessment as you would in the field, including communicating with your patient. You may remove the patient's clothing down to shorts or swimsuit if you feel it is necessary. As you conduct your assessment, you should verbalize everything you are assessing. Clinical information not obtainable by visual or physical inspection will be given to you after you demonstrate how you would normally gain that information. You may assume that you have two EMTs working with you and that they are correctly carrying out the verbal treatments you indicate. You have 10 minutes to complete this skill station. Do you have any questions? I do not. You are dispatched to a 64 male complaining of chest pain. My BSI is on. Is my scene safe? Your scene is safe. Okay. Uh, my nature of illness is chest pain. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. I have one patient. Is that correct? That is also correct. Due to the nature of illness, I will request an AOS be started. Sir, have you fallen today? No. Okay. Because he has no recent history of falls, I have no indication for C-spine precautions. I'm going to move on into my general impression, which is a 64-year-old male seated in front of me complaining of chest pain. Since he did respond to me asking him about falling, he is alert, and a life threat that he has right now is chest pain. I'm going to go into my ABCs now, so I'm just going to make sure he's moving good air. So I do have present lung sounds, and he was talking, which means his airway is open. I'm just going to quickly feel for chest rise and fall. He is ventilating well. Because of his chief complaint, I am going to uh, have him on 15 liters of oxygen, oxygen via non rebreather. So I'll have one of my EMT assistants do that. I'm going to check his circulatory now. Right, he does have a present pulse. His skin is warm, pink, and dry. Is that correct? His skin is pale, cool, and diaphoretic. Okay. Just a quick sweep to see if there's any major bleeding. Do I see any major bleeding? You do not. Okay. He is a priority patient. I'm going to update my incoming AOS saying that I have a 64-year-old male complaining of chest pain, but he is conscious at this time. I'm going to go into my uh, focus assessment now, so I'll start with my OPQRST. Uh, sir, when did this start? Uh, it started a couple hours ago. Does anything make it better or anything make it worse? No. Okay. Uh, if you could describe the pain to me, how would you describe it? Uh, it's like a crushing chest pain. Someone's sitting on my chest. Okay. And uh, scale one to ten, how how bad is this? Uh, it's like a nine. Okay. Does it radiate anywhere? Uh, kind of into my left arm. Okay. And what time did this start? Uh, probably two three hours ago after the uh, shooting start ended. Okay. I'm going to move in my sample history now. Are you allergic to any medications? No. Do you currently take any medications? No. Okay. Uh, do you have any past medical problems that you know about? Not to my knowledge. Okay. Uh, what's the last thing that you ate or drank? Uh, it's pizza, a couple beers. Okay. And what were you doing when you started? Uh, it was just watching the SUV. Okay. Right, I'm going to check your vitals. Oh, start with blood pressure. You got 146 over 92? 180 over 90. Okay. Heart rate of 70, strong and regular. Heart rate of 48. Respirations are 16 and unlabored. 24. Okay. And my skin is still warm, pink, and dry. Pale, cool, diaphoretic. I've identified the body system to be a cardiovascular system. To assess that on a focus assessment, it's to check your vital signs, which I've already done. So I still think that this is a priority patient. My general impression is a 64-year-old male who is still conscious but complaining of chest pain. I will administer 324 milligrams of chewable aspirin to him because he didn't have an allergy to aspirin. And I'm going to reassess his vitals every five minutes because he is the high priority patient. And I am done with the station.